After watching this tutorial, you will master the use effect hook, which is one of the most important hook in React. So let's get started. Use effect is used to perform side effects in our component. So what is side effects? Side effects are actions which are performed with outside world. We perform a side effect when we need to reach outside of React components and do something. For example, fetching data from API, directly updating the DOM in which we use document or window object, and timer functions like set timeout or set interval. These are most common side effects in React. So to perform any kind of side effects, we need to use use effect hook. Let's see in example. So here I created one state variable and its value will increase by one when we click on this button. If you want to know use state hook, you can watch this tutorial and you understand use state hook in simple explanation. To use any hook, we need to first import that hook from react library. So I write here use effect and now we can use it in functional component. So use effect hook accept two arguments. First callback which is a function in which we write our side effect logic. This function is executed whenever something change in this component. And second dependencies which is an array of variables and it's an optional argument. In simple terms, first argument is what to run and second one is when to run. So use effect runs on every render, which means that when the count changes, a render happens. And we can control that by dependencies. If you're familiar with class components, use effect is a combination of component did mount, component did update, and component will unmount. Let's see variation of use effect hooks. There are only three variations of use effect hook. First, use effect without any dependencies. Second, use effect with an empty array. And third, use effect with variables. Let's see first variation of use effect hook. So write use effect and pass only callback function. And in that function, I want to update our web title with this same message. So write document dot title equals to in backticks dollar count new messages and save it. Refresh the page and see whenever this component render use effects run and our title gets updated with our message. Now when something change in this component means we click on this button and it runs use effect hook and title changed with counter. So when we use use effect hook without any dependencies, use effect will run on every single change in that component. In this case, it's app component because we write use effect in app component. Now let's see use effect with an empty array. So in this same example, we pass an empty array in use effect dependencies. And let's see what happened. So save it and take a look. Refresh the page and see use effects run when component render. Now when we click on this button, which means counter is going to change, but the title is not updating on that change. So when we pass an empty array in dependencies, use effect will run only one time when our component gets render first time. And after that, use effect will never run. It's useful when we use to fetch data from API or server and that will fetch data when component gets rendered first time. By the way, cheat sheet of use state hook is available in description. Now let's see the last variation of use effect which is with variables. So to understand this concept, I create another state variable named other count and button that will increase that counter by 5. Now I want to change title when we only change other count state. For that, we need to pass other count variable in that dependency array. And I change this count variable with other count. Save the changes and take a look. Refresh the page and see it perfectly works on render. Now when I click on this other count state variable, 
title is updating with this date. But when we click on this old button, it will not work because we pass our new variable in dependency array. So use effect only runs when this state variable's value will change. And you can pass more variables by using comma. Now the final part of this use effect hook is clean up function. And it's little confusing for beginners. Let's understand with another example so everyone can understand. Here I have used set interval function for countdown timer. And that interval will not stop unless we use the clear interval function. If we are setting state using set interval and that side effect is not cleaned up when our components unmounts or we are no longer to use it, the state is destroyed with the component but the state interval function will keep running. And that's make our application slow and low in performance. So it's important to clean up these functions. So to use cleanup function, we need to run return function in use effect. Let me show you that. So here in this use effect, I write return arrow function and inside this function, I write clear interval and pass the variable name of set interval function, which is timer. The cleanup function will be called when the component is unmounted. It's difficult to see in this example. So I create one counter and then update that counter on button click by one. Now I create a new use effect function with count dependency and write console.log run effect with count variable. So when the count variable will change, use effect runs. And now I write return function and inside this function, I simply console.log cleanup also with count variable for just getting the idea when cleanup function will work. So save the changes and take a look. Refresh the page and it's working on first render. Now whenever this use effect run again, old cleanup function will run first and then this callback function will run. Let's see this live. So here it worked for first render and when we click on this increase button, which means this use effect will run. So first cleanup with zero value will run and then callback function print for value one. Now again, we click on this button, first previous cleanup function will run and then callback run. So cleanup function is not required in every case. It is only required in a few cases, such as when you need to stop a repeated side effect when your component unmounts, simple as that. Let's recap what we learned. So use effect is used to perform side effects like fetching data, manipulation with document and window, timer events like set interval and set timeout. Use effect accept two arguments, first is for callback function and second is for dependencies, which is optional. In simple terms, what to run and when to run. And there are three variation of use effect hook. First, without dependencies, which means it runs with first render and also run on anything changes in that component. Second, with empty array, which means it runs only on first render and it's useful for fetching data. Third, with state and props, which means it runs on first render and then any variable that we pass in dependencies change, it will run. Simple as that. Timeouts, subscriptions, event listener and other effects that are no longer needed should be disposed with the help of cleanup function. So I hope you understand use effect hook. See you guys next Tuesday with the use context hook. Have a nice day.